Thank you for joining us today, Ms. Keys Fleming. My pleasure. Thank you for having Let's me. Let's jump into the questions. Sure. The first question I want to ask you is, what is your definition of leadership? I think leadership is the ability to motivate people to do something. Mm -hmm. Now, you can have good leadership where they're motivated to do uh, something for the greater good that benefits mm -hmm. the larger community or has an altruistic purpose. But mm -hmm. there's also the bad leadership that you're motivating people for your own personal agenda. But leadership would qualify under either one. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we have good leaders that recognize that they use that power to benefit society as a whole as opposed to their own circle of influence. Mm -hmm. That's a really good leading for, leading for another question I have for you. As an emerging leader, you've seen um, leaders from the past, the present, and even some upcoming leaders in the for the future. How would you rate or grade African American leadership, let's say, latter 20th century, early 20th century, throughout the Metro Atlanta region? I think we've got a combination of all of that. Uh, and I think what we as emerging leaders need to do is kind of do a study and recognize what is good leadership uh, and try to emulate that, but then mm. also recognize what is bad leadership and mm. learn from those mistakes. Mm. Um, I think it's very important that we look at the whole package and not just try to bifurcate or, or distinguish one from, from the other or separate one from the other. Mm -hmm. um, but I think overall, uh, we've done well. I think Atlanta uh, is at a critical time, mm. uh, very critical time, that we are still uh, very cognizant of the past and embracing the past, but also now the time has come. How do we weave that path past into uh, what we are to become? Mm. Uh, and so it's going to take some key leadership as we go forward that can merge the two and not be so full of the past that they forget or, or not keep an eye on the future and not so tied into the future that they forget the things that made Atlanta great as part of its history. Mm. What would you think well, what do you think are some of the major issues African Americans are confronting in the 21st century within the metro Atlanta region? I would say education mm. is the number one issue, particularly in the job that I have. When you look at dropout rates being at 50 percent in several of the metro area counties, uh, what are those 50 percent that are not finishing high school or, or trade schools going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, the criminal justice system is there, a criminal element is there. They're making some bad decisions, some mm -hmm. of them, not all. Mm -hmm. um, but that is detracting from our leadership pool mm. in the future and we really need to take a stand and say we want to make sure that every child in this metro area is well educated at least given the opportunity to make decisions and mm -hmm. I think when they don't even graduate high school a lot of that decision making ability is taken away from mm. them and it's really going to cause all of us to suffer you know 10 15 years from now when we're looking to pass the torch and the pool of acceptable applicants or emerging leaders is right. much smaller than what right. we have now. That's an excellent point. It seems like everybody I talk to really concerned about the, the direction our educational system is going and whether or not we are truly invested in, in our future like we need to be. And I, I think we're missing some opportunities. I really do. And obviously there's a debate about it's going to cost money, it's going to cost resources. Uh, but you got to be proactive. I mean, mm -hmm. it certainly the money is being invested in the criminal justice system, and it doesn't have to be. We all know that it costs less to send a child to college than it does to pay for them to be in jail for a year. Mm -hmm. So let's take some of that money and, and send multiple people to college and, and cut down on the number of ones that actually end up in jail later on. Mm -hmm. You offer an interesting perspective for this next question. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you, being a district district attorney, African American female, what are some of the challenges you face? external and internal within the community, outside of the community, considering your position and how everybody seems to be pulling at you one way or another in order to represent their vested interests. I think it's a very interesting tug of war. I think um, a lot of African Americans in particular has had a historic distrust of the criminal justice system. Uh, and one of the things that I tried to do when I came into office is open up uh, the system and open up my office and make sure that they know and understand uh, that we're going to be completely transparent about our decisions, about how cases are handled. And it might be that you disagree with how I handle a case but mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you about why I'm having to do it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I hope, I really hope that that honesty is what brings peace of mind and a trust back, at least to people in my office or in mm -hmm. my leadership in that office. I think um, one of the things that leaders always struggle with is 
Uh, sometimes we look at leaders and think they've got it made. They seem to be out in public and we put them up on a pedestal and mm -hmm. we think that they have special gifts and talents that make them successful. And the truth is that they have their haters just like everybody else. They have their bad days just like everybody else. And that's another lesson that emerging leaders can take so that when they do have a bad day or they're confronted with an obstacle or some sort of adversity, they have that drive to keep going. Mm. Um, don't give up at the first challenge that mm. you see. Um, because the leaders that came before you, they've had their challenges, uh, and we need to learn from them in terms of making sure that we can overcome those challenges. So there, there's two of those things. I mean, we all have bad days, and we've got to make sure that we keep those bad days in perspective, mm -hmm. um, but still push for the bigger picture and the greater good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Thank you.